Hi darling, so the other day when we were here on Friday, the Wi-Fi didn't work very well at Enoteca Alessi. So I said to you I would come back to, to take a video of a lot of the products that you can buy online. What I recommend that you do is go into the, um, the website and go to the search key of Delicatessen and type in the different types of products that you're looking for. For example, in the search bar you can put extra virgin olive oil and you can find a selection of incredible extra virgin olive oils. Chocolate. Vin Santo dessert wine because with um, they can basically send you multi product and one bottle of alcoholic beverage so like one bottle of wine or one bottle of dessert wine or one bottle of vermouth they have some really fantastic products at the moment for Easter so there's the Quaresimale um, the Cantucci some really wonderful Colomba which is the um, classic cake for Easter in the form of the dove. So I'm going to now walk around um, Enoteca Lessi and show you some of the products that I love and that you can cho choose directly online on the website. It also is a great way to understand a little bit about um, Italian products. So it gives you some really great understanding and ideas, for example, for a lot of things that you can even get back home wherever you are in the world. Enoteca Lessi has um, basically was founded in the 50s and the same family still own it. It's in the historical center. Many of you have actually visited Enoteca Alessi with me because it actually has the largest wine cellar in the historical center, over a thousand labels. So it's a great place. We I've brought most of you here for a, a wine tasting or just to you know have a look at some of the products. But here you can see the classic uh, Cantucci which is Antonio Mattei, the founder of the biscotti. So this is the almond biscuit that we typically serve with the Vinsanto dessert wine, which I'll show you a little bit later on when we get closer to the Vinsanto. And here you can see, even online, you can see these different tins that you can buy online directly on the website. The green packet actually is the pistacchio di Bronte. And there's also the chocolate chip. And you'll also find there's the nocciola, there's also the almond. Here are the quaresimali that I always, I've been speaking to you about. This is the um, now in season during Lent. It's really the only type of sweet um, that, you know, traditionally um, we would have. And the quaresimali, it's an ancient recipe. It tastes absolutely delicious. And it actually was invented by the, um, the monks who wanted a little bit of sweet but very very simple after carnevale because you know during lent typically you can't have any you can't be too goloso as we say in italian another really wonderful um product that you can find in tuscany is the chalde of monte catini so monte catini is a a town, a thermal town west of Florence and these chalde, which chalde are basically wafers, they were invented by the Familia Desideri in 1911. So typically we serve the wafer, it tastes really great with the Vinsanto dessert wine as well or with um, gelato. So I'm now in one of the most delicious sections of Enoteca Alessi and I'm in the chocolate section. You can see behind me this product called Amadei that actually is coming from the Chocolate Valley, um, which is uh, towards Pisa. So from Florence to Pisa, we have the Chocolate Valley where we have some of the best producers of chocolate, not only in Italy, but also in the world. Amadei has actually been awarded um, the best chocolate in the world. From this uh, brand here that they have is um, from their plantation in Venezuela called Tsao, okay? So you can actually find Amade um, back home because they actually have a store in New York City. You know, in general, Italian chocolate is the true flavor of the chocolate. It's not too sugary sweet. So it's ideal to serve it with uh, a, a rum at the end of a meal or even um, the Vinsanto. So if you're not really into the Cantucci 
an ideal is to taste uh, a delicious Italian chocolate with rum, an aged rum or even a scotch. Okay, so there are, there is such a huge selection of vermouth, okay? Vermouth that was actually invented in 1716 in Torino, okay? It is actually a sweet wine vermouth. It's one of those products that you could, you should always have, <laughs> that you should always have in the kitchen because you can use it a lot uh, actually in sauces. I use it a lot to saute even shrimp. It was invented in Turin and it was kind of the uh, aperitivo for the signori. You know, rather than serving, if you see on the right side, you can actually see the original uh, vermouth, which is the Antica Formula or by Carpano. And um, it was something a little more elegant to serve in opposed to your rustic wines. And in fact, in Florence, um, it was one of the first kind of aperitifs that was served for the signori rather than having the rustic wine vino da tavola from the uh, straw-based bottles from the fiasco. Amaro is another um, digestivo let's say that we have that is very well known in um, in Italy and every region has their own type of amaro. You probably know um, the amaro more from um, the grappa okay which is a distill coming from the the north and here we can see a huge selection of grappa you either hate it or love it usually the grappa the most ideal grappa is the one that has been a little more aged and you can see this beautiful color um, that is coming from the the actual barrique um, that it that the distill is aged in and you can also see um, a lot of time the different the skin of the, the grape, the different types of skins that they use. They have the Moscato, this one is Blanc Sauvignon, and Chardonnay. A lot of time when you talk about grappa, often people will kind of give that really funny face um, of, of disgust. But actually there's a lot of really amazing um, and delicious grappa to try. Then moving on from the Amaro, we have the Bitters. The bitters that you would know, of course, is the Campari. This is um, a, a wonderful uh, recipe from the 1920s, a select, which was kind of more the original of what we see now, more the Aperol. We see the Aperol everywhere, but this was more of an original one from Venice, which is the birthplace of the spritz. So blending the uh, Prosecco, a dry Prosecco, with a bitter, okay, which typically in uh, Tuscany uh, spritz is with Campari. The dessert wine in Tuscany, Vinsanto is Malvasia en Trebbiano. They pick the bunches in October and they leave them to become dry and raisin-like. They squeeze the juice typically by December. Some vintners actually leave the grape to dry even longer, like for example Pomino. Um, February, they actually um, squeeze the juice and add the, the juice to, to the barrels. Avignonese is um, one of the most famous um, known for keeping the uh, grapes to dry even until April. But the flavor is just beautiful, a port-like flavor after this liquid has been in a barrel for 10, 15, 20 or even more years. Out comes this amazing dessert wine that is served with the Cantucci. So here we can actually see the Pomino uh, Vinsanto and you can see this also in line, online. They have this um, on sale and also the Antinori you can buy uh, from them. Here you could see also Castello di Broglio. So there's a selection of really top Vinsanto, anche Castello d'Ama is on the uh, website so that they are all available. And here we're in the section of balsamic vinegar. And as we know, balsamic vinegar is not from Tuscany. It's actually from Modena. And here to understand the age of the uh, aceto balsamico, you can see the little coins. So each coin represents two years, okay? So 
This is a 10 year uh, balsamic vinegar. And you can see the label is Enoteca Alessi. So this is a, a balsamic vinegar made for Enoteca Alessi in Modena, okay? So, and they also have the white balsamic. So the white balsamic is, um, they remove the skin of the Sangiovese and they actually add the, just the juice into the barrique for um, a few years and they make this um, condiment that is delicious with um, salads, tuna here. So a great one from Tuscany is Castello Dama. Um, so even though we're in the valley or in the region of Tuscany, every valley has a very different flavor. So a little stronger extra virgin olive oil coming from the Chianti Classico Senese, the extra virgin olive oil of Castello di Ama that you can also find online. The Laudemio, which is uh, typically uh, noble producers from the Frescobaldi to, to Santa Tea, uh, also Castello di Popiano, uh, that you can actually find uh, back home. So I would recommend that you look more at Castello d'Ama. And over here they also have a fabulous um, product at Valloni, which is a little bit closer to Firenze in Chianti Fiorentina. So in a month it will be Easter and typically we have the Colomba on sale and Enoteca Alessi has got an incredible, well, a selection of fantastic brands of the Colomba. One of my favorite are the Colomba coming from uh, the producer Filippi. And this uh, Colomba is actually made with extra, with the extra virgin olive oil. So rather than using butter, um, Filippi is known for making even the panettone at Christmas using the extra virgin olive oil. And there is also available online the Filippi Colomba made with extra virgin olive oil.